the first part of today that we're going to start that will be mostly around understanding the the generic formats that we have. Then in terms of if I if I if you see the screen here uh, and if I just pan parallel I open the material that we caught from next lab. So if you see from the just to the basic part of it, I think right on the screen what we see here like I think we everyone know this part parts but I think just for the, uh, just I will still I will just take you through this. Uh, whenever we open Excel, so basically you should be aware of a couple of things like what each of the menu tab does, like when when, when we go with home or insert or your page layout, so what uh, what exactly these tabs contains and basically an overview of uh, you know all, all the parts of in Excel like where we're going to get the chart, where you're going to get the functions. Uh, where we will get those uh, command buttons or when, when we do a kind of a customization as I shown. Like you will click the drop down, you will see things automating. So where we will get those tools around. So the first phase uh, is just to understand under each tab what are the things that will be coming. And just this is this actually the window it, it, it tells you all like this is uh, we just call your status bar like if you need to insert new sheets. So you will uh, right at here you will find out uh, you have a sheet number attached to it, how you can insert new sheets, how you can drop new sheets, uh, how you can drop your sheets, so that is something that we are going to look into. At the same time, just a quick understanding of uh, some of the basic things already we know on Excel, and then we will move on to your uh, kind of an alignment, the formats, and a couple of uh, see things that we are going to look at on the base of the data that I have also given to you. So this will be basically, today is, uh, is more on understanding these beaten pieces, and probably uh, we will try out few of the functions on Excel uh, uh, right at the end. So this is uh, this will be today mostly uh, things will be already is, is a kind of a recap that you all already know and a couple of things are, uh, apart from that like conditional formatting and things uh, which we are going to uh, touch with today as well. But this, let me just go on to the, uh, the data that I have shared with you. So. Every data, like this, is very important to understand, like the data and the data types. So, whenever we have some kind of a data, it can be either a categorical variable, either it can be a numeric variable, or it can be a kind of a say date type variable, right? So, whenever you work either either into analytics or either in, into day to day kind of an of in, of your uh, job, so it will be good because whenever we do it in Excel, often we get some kind of an uh, like if your data has got a mix of character and mix of numeric. So by default, it's going to take up a character type. So it's important to understand what is exactly a character type variable and what is a numeric variable, what is a what is a date uh, date type of variable. So this variable type, because why I've shared the data, I'm going to take you through the basics, but as well as we need to understand the variable type because this is something that we're going to extensively use at a later point of time. So if I click here, say in A2, you see right at uh, here that the date is coming up. Uh, let me do one thing. I can use a marker so that Initially, it had a feature of like you can use a marker or so because um, that is the option I'm not getting right now. So, so I wanted to use that piece. Okay, cool. Uh, just uh, follow my mouse and like here you have a date. Like whenever you s click on any of the things, see this is a general, right? But always a good practice. Whenever by general it means it will take the take the default type. Like it will be taking the numeric type. So whenever you have this kind of thing, it's always good that I can make it more of like uh, the number format. So I'll go here and we'll just make it a uh, bit uh, on the numeric side. So whenever you click here, it's a general, but by default, if you wanted to assign a kind of a text, you can do so. So basically, whenever you have a, any a, any kind of an of a name or any kind of an uh, say character oriented things, you should follow a text format. So by default, it will be general. Okay, it's no harm in that. By default, it understands the generic part of it. 
but whenever you need to like uh, say particularly for your date type or for your numeric type it's always good to define uh, the kind of an formatting that is required at your end so this i mean the first understanding should be on the data type so whenever you get some data what kind of what kind of data structure it looks into whether it's character whether it's date whether it's a kind of a numeric so with this like this will be the first piece that we need to understand the second thing that we are going to touch base is like if we have a if we know because whenever we do some kind of an formatting is very important for us to understand like whenever you given excel so the objective as vishal you also mentioned that you, you, even if you need to do some kind of an dashboards so you need to make them look more visually appealing so for that we have to use this alignments and uh, and this kind of an merging and wrap or wrapping of the structure wrap test uh, structure so this is something that is required to give a proper shape or uh, make make your uh, make your excel more visually appealing so for, with that what we are going to start i'm just going to show something like say if i pick up these other problems and i go here and i simply i wanted to do some kind of an formatting so by default you see that whenever i'm clicking here it's coming here but if i start writing something like this so again it's going to you know you, you can't see the entire thing so for that what we need to do you just go here uh, right as whenever you see a plus sign at all at uh, almost at the top uh, top left corner uh, just click here and you just double click you see that it's automatically the column uh, and the rows is gets adjusted so whenever you click and if you want because it will be very difficult because you know if i'm here and i'm writing few things like this and if i getting a move on so if you wanted to auto align the columns so simply what you need to do you just need to go here with end dash sheet cord selected just click on this uh where is where my cursor is pointing click at this end your end dash sheet will be selected and then just come here with you see the uh, my cursor is like in uh, in some uh it's like the arrow is at the both end and now if you just click anywhere it will get auto align so it will auto automatically take the, the the maximum size of the column length and is going to align on the basis of that so you don't need to do anything like uh, it's like individual columns and then align so this is something that you don't need to do now whenever i come to over here and say you are here and you wanted to do some formatting say like in the new brunswick i'm i'm deleting all this and i wanted to uh, actually merge the sales say i am here i want to merge up to here so you have need to go to the either you can go by default is going to merge the sales and make it center alignment so what is the center align this is your uh, this is your you know top down uh, if it is in middle this is your top this is your down alignment this is your uh, middle alignment and this is left right and center so if i see the difference so if i just make it like this here now you you see this is your bottom alignment now if i simply click here this is your middle alignment it's not center but middle alignment if i click here this is your top alignment now if i click here this is your left alignment if i go here this is your center alignment and if i click here this comes to be middle alignment like when if i go here this is your right alignment so i'll always try to have these things whenever you say you are creating any dashboard or you are creating creating any headers if they need be it can be uh, both of them it should be in the middle as well as in the central aligned now what you wanted to if you wanted to uh, increase the engine i'm going to coming later so now if you want uh, this actually talks about the angle counter or something so if i want uh, say i'm going to show here no worries uh, let's do something like if i wanted to highlight uh, the border say i can go around just go fill with any of the color you can go to the multi color you can have a standardized color here as well or you can use a standard color as well so in the custom if you know any specific like often uh, since some of the companies they had got their own kind of an color palette so they will specifically want that your rgb should be like this is should be red this should be green and this should be blue so most of the uh, some of the companies like they have their color teams 
and you need to pick on the basis of that. So this is where you can actually customize. So even I go and just simply use this so you can fill this up. And now if you wanted to increase the front, so there are two ways of doing it. Like I can automatically uh, it's coming around this way. So if I click here, automatically it's going to go up or you can also, if you want to reduce, you can come down and also the same thing can be done from here. So this will be the formatting options. And this is nothing but your, uh, when we talk about your front style and uh, things around. So just anything you feel like you can do it. If you want it to be underlined, yes, it can be underlined and bold and all, all the things are there. So these are, this talks about mostly if I wanted to take this shape, so basically I can't. So this is more on the formatting or the front kind of thing. So whenever you need to change any front, you want to try out something different. And this is something like while you do the mod sales. And uh, now if I come here and this is called a format sales alignment. So over here you will see a lot of things are coming here. Like the same thing that we were doing, fill, justify, center, distributed. So these are all the kind of the alignment in the in the text, like top, left, bottom, justified, distributed. So this is the option that we were seeing here. The same thing if you wanted to customize, you need to go here in the like when I was going, I was using here. And you will see that your text alignment comes here and you could click any of them. Like if I click justify, justify is actually based on whatever the your column read and everything is going to automatically uh, uh, select the best for you. And if I click on justify and just click on OK, so it thinks like it will be best fitted here. So it's just something on the justifying uh, is like if I if even if you have uh, you know often it happens like in, in the word itself when you walk in and you have some kind of a paragraphs and moment you click on the justifies that alignment is is tightly maintained. So if it's a left aligned or right aligned or central aligned, so there there will be like whenever whenever at the end of every sentence. Uh, there will be like unequal kind of a distribution in your left and the right. But while we do the, uh, you know, the in terms of justify, it actually takes care of your left margin and the right margin. That is what it happens with uh, while you do the justify option.